I'm Sarah Storelli, on a quest to discover the people behind the cutting edge innovations across industries, to tell the stories that define them far more than their titles. My guest today is Dave Levy. Well, thanks so much, Dave, for being here with me on the podcast today. Greatly appreciate it. Sure. Happy to be here. Wonderful. Well, let's dive in, okay. shall we? Uh, so first question is, I'd love to know how your culture has helped you know, shape your career as well mm -hmm. as your personal life. So I grew up in South Texas and I grew up with parents who were educators and teachers and um, um, also a, a father who was a scientist. And so uh, academics was a big part of uh, our life growing up. You know, that's really informed a lot for how I've gone about life. I didn't end up uh, becoming a scientist or a teacher, <laughs> uh, but uh, the fundamentals, I think, of that culture in my uh, upbringing have, have served me really well. I thought I was going to be a pediatrician someday, but here we yeah. are, you know? <laughs> <laughs> that's right. That's right. Yeah, so given your background, who do you think has inspired you the most? That's a tough one. You know, I, I come at things a little bit differently. I never in my career really had a mentor. I, I never had a formal mentor. I've never had a sponsor inside of an organization. Nobody's ever given me a job or put me in a job. So I've had what I would call an amalgamation of people. There have been people that I have uh, over the years looked up to people who I've thought done a fantastic job at something, whether it's been an issue around character or style or approach or, or leadership. I've tried to w bring the best of what I saw in them and tried to borrow it right. <laughs> for myself. And um, that will serve you well for a long time as long as you're willing to continue learning and um, you're focused on being really good at what you do. And to that extent, what is your most favorite Amazon leadership principle? I know we have you know, 16, yeah. there's quite a few yeah. to choose from, but if you could pick one, which one would that be? Yeah, it has to be learn and be curious for me. I mean, it's just, it, it, ev there's not a meeting or a doc or anything that I do that I don't walk away from actually learning something. And so whether it's learning about a customer or it's learning about a partner or it's um, learning about uh, something that, that I'm doing or that colleagues are doing, I think for me that's like the foundational principle, that curiosity that you have to have about everything. Um, and that leads to a lot of just active listening. It's really hard just to sit and listen to people and really focus on them and what they're saying um, what they're not saying, perhaps, in those moments, and then um, trying to take a, take a little bit of time to actually understand and formulate questions and thoughts and ideas about what they're saying. We all have a narrative. We all want to get out that narrative. We all want to get a point of view out. And um, I think that's a critically important skill. You can form a really strong brand for yourself by not um, speaking as much and mm -hmm. listening a lot more. Amazing. Given everything thus far, especially now with you leading worldwide public sector for AWS and yeah. this amazing role to collaborate with yeah. customers, partners, and colleagues alike, you know, at the end of the day, who or what is that that really drives you to go make change positively? Yeah. The first thing I would say is just like, it's not lost on me that being African-American and I'm I don't want to, I'm not old, but uh, I'm not young either. You know, I, I'm, if, you're, if, if your career is in thirds, I'm probably at the beginning of my third third of my career. And so it's not lost on me that from a, a diversity perspective, uh, being in this uh, role is rare. And, and, and uh, it's an opportunity. Uh, it's an opportunity for me, but it's also an opportunity to demonstrate uh, that um, someone who comes from a background like mine can be successful in a big corporation, um, where there, you know, may be very few people who are of color or of a certain gender. And so that's not lost on me. Mm -hmm. And that's very motivating because um, ideally that's an impact. I want to set an example of what's possible, um, what can be accomplished, and um, what voices can be in the room. So I think that's part of it. The other part of it really is I just really like what I do. I mean, I like it. I like my team. I like the customers. I like the partners. Uh, I like 
I like what we deliver. I like our opportunity. I like working on hard problems. And so it, I want to get up and do it every day. And if you're going to work uh, as much as we do and as hard as we do, and you're going to work for a big company, uh, it's an amazing opportunity. And I don't, that, I don't, I don't want to take that for granted uh, for one minute. So uh, that's a, motivating and inspiring and um, it keeps me going every day. Absolutely. I was going to say it's so inspiring yeah. um, to that extent. And do you think, so of course, every conversation these days now has generative AI sure. and it, do you think that generative AI can actually also help maybe democratize the playing field for more inclusion and equity and diversity? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, technology in, in a lot of ways is a big democratizer uh, for me personally. Um, you know, um, you know, I went to high school a long time ago. There weren't a lot of high schools that actually had um, computer science programs. Mm. Uh, they weren't. Uh, they didn't proliferate because it was still relatively a new technology to have anything other than mainframe computers. So uh, those early programming languages were just starting to come out. And what I really loved about that as a teenager was that it didn't matter who you were if you could get access to it and you could learn it. Um, you could get good at it. And if you got good at it, then you were useful. Um, And you, you know, that bred, you know, interest and enthusiasm and inspiration and confidence. And that democratization of information and technology and accessibility Mm -hmm. um, was really important for a lot of people uh, that were um, coming of age in that era. And I was one of them. Technology started to democratize uh, someone's uh, innate ability if you're willing to learn it. So generative AI is similar. Generative AI is uh, democratizing access. If you have ideas, things that you want to innovate on, um, the cost of doing that um, is coming way, way down. The tools to do it are much more accessible. Um, at AWS, that's what we're doing. We're making those tools available. Um, entrepreneurs all over the world and on every conf- continent now can get access in a in a cost-effective way that they couldn't do uh, many years ago to literally the most powerful technology in the world. So generative AI is um, really exciting. We're still early, but it's, it's it going to be incredibly exciting, particularly for those that are in underserved areas um, where um, getting access to technology is going to be really, really critical. And I think we're going to see ideas and innovations and inventions that we haven't even really thought of yet. It's inspiring and exciting at the same yeah. time like to see what is you know, the art of the possible yeah. um, in that landscape really, you know, worldwide, whether it's commercial sector or especially for all of us here in public I, sector. I mean, and, and, you know, even like with technologies like Code Whisperer, like mm-hmm. writing code is now a whole lot easier. I mean, you know, learn you know, the ancient languages that I had to like <laughs> open a big, you know, huge book and try to learn, um, you know, you don't necessarily uh, need to learn those languages in the same way Mm -hmm. because now there are technologies or code libraries or, you know, generative AI, you know, it's really incredible. It is. So my final question for you today is when all is said and done, what would you like to be known for to future generations? Yeah. Well, that's a big one. (laughs) Let's not not Save the best for last. Yeah. Let's not jump ahead. I mean, I'm, (laughs) want to be around for a while but no i um you know look i i want to have said i mean what i hope that um if somebody says anything (laughs) at all i don't expect them to say anything but if anybody says anything at all it's that i set an example i had an impact uh had an impact on teams and on customers on um, somebody's journey in their career um you know that they were able to think about how can they take their talents and their skills and put them in a place where they can have an impact. And I hope I can inspire people to do that because I've certainly had that opportunity. Well, and that's amazing, Dave. And I want to just thank you for everything that you are doing to, to advocate on behalf of all people uh, around the world and everything you're doing to help encourage and inspire innovation You know, mm-hmm. at AWS, customers, partners, truly around the world and for public sector. So thank you so much for being here and spending time with me today and for all of our viewers to hear a little bit more about your journey. It's quite inspiring, so thank you. Thank you, it's a lot of fun.